The Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 is here, and after my review of the size small, link above, I decided to buy the regular, which is recommended for taller people, to see if there would be a noticeable difference in comfort. Will buying the wrong size lead to a world of back and glute pain? Let's roll that intro. What's up YouTube universe, this is Jacob Dark. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and that notification bell, especially if you're looking for more reviews on the latest tech-related gear and help me reach my current goal of 25,000 subscribers. I'm super excited that since the last video, Secret Lab has decided to make me an affiliate partner. Now that doesn't mean that they send me free stuff. Matter of fact, I paid for these chairs out of my own pocket so that I could bring you this video today. It just means that anytime you use my links in the description of this video to make your purchase, it greatly supports this channel and allows me to buy more stuff to review in the future. So let's not waste any more time and get into today's video. I decided to do this video for two reasons. One, because I've had quite a few comments asking which size I'd recommend based on height, and two, because back when I tested the 2020 Titan and gave it a negative review after it destroyed my back and glutes, many of you suggested it was my fault for not buying the chair recommended for my height. So, will the regular share the same fate and be a new nightmare like Freddy, or will it be just as comfortable as the recommended for my height, small? For reference, I'm 5 feet 6 inches tall and weigh about 195 pounds. The small is recommended for heights between 4'11 and 5'6, and the regular is recommended for heights between 5'7 and 6'2. The first thing I wanted to find out is if my feet would reach the ground on both models, so I decided to measure the seat from the ground at its lowest setting. It turns out both seats measure exactly the same with the bottom of the seat being just over 14 inches and the top of the seat at about 18 inches. Just in case you're wondering, at their highest settings, the bottom of the seat measures just under 17 inches with the top at just under 21 inches. And yes, at its lowest setting, my feet are able to comfortably reach the ground with no issue on both chairs. When it comes to width, however, it's a different story. On the small, we have a width of 21 inches, with the regular measuring in at 22 inches. Likewise, the backrest in small measures in at 20.25 inches, while the regular is at 21.25 inches. So we're looking at an extra inch of width, and this is true for the armrests as well, which at their widest settings also come in at 20.25 inches on the small and 21.25 inches on the regular. This is how much space I have on my sides in small. And this is how much space I have on my sides in regular. I don't exactly have wide hips or a wide butt, so if you're somebody that's on the wider side, then the regular might be the better option for you. When it comes to width, the small definitely hugs my body more comfortably. However, there is a trade-off that I need to mention. When you measure the depth of the seat on both models from backrest to front, it's a minor half inch difference with the small coming in at 19.25 inches and the regular at 19.75 inches. However, it feels like the regular offers more support as the small gives my legs more of a hanging off the edge effect. Everyone's legs are different, so this is something that's going to be unique to you. Now let's take a look at the backrest height differences. From the seat to the top, the small measures in at 32 inches height, with the regular at 33.75 inches height. This is me sitting in the small. And this is me sitting in the regular. I prefer to have the pillow at my neck, so honestly, they both feel the same. Same thing with the lumbar support, since you're able to customize its height settings, you can pretty much get the same support on both. So there you have it. I'm 5'6", and even though the small is recommended for my height, I am finding the regular to be just a little bit more comfortable. 
Now, it does say on the website that the regular is sized between the 2020 Omega and Titan models, so maybe I'm just getting the best of both worlds, but after spending some time on both, I think I'm going to stick with the regular, but... Honestly, I'm, I'm still undecided. My advice is that if you're 5'5 five, five and under, the small is probably the way to go. But if you're 5'6 and over or you're more of a heavy set person, then the regular might be the chair for you. That's going to do it for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments, questions, or concerns in the comments below. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.